The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He is the one of whom I said, a man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from the sky and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with the water told me, Whomever you see, the Spirit come down and remain. He is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. St. John in his epistle this morning reminds us of God's desire for us. He wants us to be his beloved children. And he is loving us even before we love him. And yet, sin comes into the world and for our purposes today, I might want to say that sin is when we consider ourselves more intelligent and more understanding than God. And we do and say things that are not like Him. Yet we're created in His image. We have it within us to be like Him because at baptism he gave us a share in his divinity. But at the same time, we can become rebellious children. And it happens. And it's, all, it's generally done out of jealousy, arrogance, and pride. These are all the foundational components of the devil's action. St. John reminds us in his humility how we should be conducting ourselves. It's very interesting that all people are rallying around John the Baptist. He has become famous. People are seeking him out. He's gaining much attention. An egocentric person would be basking in all this, not St. John. He is humble. He knows that he's not in charge. He has come to an understanding. He trusts God even more than he can trust himself. And so he comes baptizing on account of Jesus and to open the way for Jesus not to take his place. He understands that Jesus will outshine him, and he's okay with that. We can remain sinless when we start to have the mentality of John the Baptist. In a couple of chapters later, in the, the third chapter of John, 
verse 30, St. John the Baptist will say, he must increase, I must decrease. In other words, it is Christ who should be seen in, not in us and not necessarily a vast display of our own egos. Because of baptism, Christ is in us. Through the sacraments, we can be nurtured and come to an understanding that because we're in the divine image, we share Christ's likeness. And to reveal him is to reveal the perfection of what it is to be a human being, even in myself. St. John the Baptist says, I did not know him. And that's true about all of us. We really don't know Jesus. But he makes himself available for us to come and know him. In the depths of prayer, in mysticism of the sacraments, in the wonder of the scriptures, the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, on whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize you in the Holy Spirit. And here is the depth of the beauty of our sacrament of confirmation, that God himself anoints us with his Spirit in a powerful way to even be in union with the apostles for the spreading of the gospel so that people can come to know the truth about how little we are and how magnificent we can be if we only let Christ have the highest priority and outshine our image of ego and let his image of divinity shine through us. Regina Jenny, let our rain, alleluia, qui aque memuis ti portare, alleluia, resurrexit sicut dixit, alleluia.